this is really cool, mm -hmm. I think. If you ever thought about having your own C3PO or R2D2 robot, <laughs> C3PO, uh, the day may not be too far away. I think it's more rosy from the Jetsons. Remember the mm. robot made? Mm -hmm. A pioneering lab at UCLA has been developing humanoid companions meant to work and maybe even in some cases play alongside mm -hmm. us. Dina Demetrius reports. <laughs> At UCLA, Professor Dennis Hong's robots seem to be infused with their creator's playful personality. Some dance, fancy dancing. Hong is a mechanical and aerospace engineer with a love of Star Wars and its charismatic robots. Now he and his graduate students at the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory, or Romella, are developing next-generation humanoids. For the robots to use tools designed for humans, I believe that robots needs to be the human shape and size. Much of the technology is about advancing how robots move efficiently so they can complete tasks, including dangerous ones meant for this robot named Thor. So if there's an accident in the po nuclear power plant because of radiation, people cannot go. So this robot can not only walk, climb upstairs, drive a car, open and close valves. But the latest star of this lab is its battery-powered goddess, Artemis. Robots to help people, the three Ds, dull, dirty, dangerous tasks. Now this robot will be able to walk upstairs, rubble pile, outdoors. But Artemis is only the first version of a humanoid Hong says could eventually handle ordinary tasks. These robots helping every day in home, cooking, taking out the uh, you know trash, all those kind of things. We call these uh, this area silver robotics. Uh, for elderly care. While AI is driving the brains of these robots, Hong says the hardware needed is still playing catch up. But in robotics, evolution can happen quickly. We're inventing the future, and then, you know, sometimes there's new technologies that we're not anticipating that happens, and the development just skyrockets. Nice to meet you. A humanoid housekeeper may be decades away or closer than we think. I don't know. That <laughs> around the house. I mean, that's kind of what my husband already sounds like when he's <laughs> walking around, so no different. Artemis was named in honor of the Greek goddess, and the robot is scheduled to travel in July to France, where it then will take part in a soccer competition in the 2023 Robo Cup, an international scientific meeting where robots demonstrate what they can do.